Hi, it's Lipstick Elle. Thanks so much for watching today. I'm swatching Lisa Eldridge lipsticks and I'm starting with the pinks. Now, the reason I'm doing this, I've done this before, but since that point, she's come out with more shades and I thought it would be helpful to group everything together by color as well as um, going through and seeing what they look like side by side. I have a very large Lisa Eldridge bullet lipstick collection. I tend to prefer the bullet lipsticks over her other lip formulas like the gloss or the velveteen liquid lipsticks, but I have some of those too. But today we're just doing bullet lipsticks and we're starting with the pinks. And I was like, there aren't that many pinks there are a lot of pinks. Just something to keep in mind that there's a ton of lipsticks here. You may not think of them all as pink, but they have some pink tendencies to them. Some might mean lean a little bit more coral, others might lean a little bit more berry. But I think that when it comes down to it, you're gonna be curious, how does this shade compare to this shade? And that's kind of what this is all about. And this is to help you decide whether this is the color for you or whether you already have something similar to this, either in your Lisa Eldridge lipstick collection or whether it's something that you're like you know what I just never wear that shade so that's kind of like what I'm shooting for today I think there's maybe three or four bullet lipsticks from Lisa that I don't have I don't remember all of them um, but I know that I don't have rosy shell I don't have dance card and there's a really deep dark chocolatey brown one that I don't have and I'm forgetting what it's called. Anyway, I'm gonna start with what I think is the lightest pink that I own. And this one here is Velvet Petal. Here's Velvet Petal. Here's what the swatch looks like. This is one of those lipsticks that I love because it's comfortable, because it doesn't dry my lips out. Uh, this is my favorite matte formula. I love this formula. I have so many of these lipsticks, but I feel like the one thing that makes Lisa's lipsticks so intriguing to me that I have so many of them, I feel like I'm collecting all of them. And it's not just for a sheer collector's perspective, because there are some shades that I don't have, but I get the ones that I think I'm going to wear, but I'm wearing shades in Lisa's brand that I normally wouldn't in others because she makes such beautiful nuanced shades. I think that is especially true with her pinks. And this one here in Velvet Petal is so beautiful and I like that it's just a slightly warm leaning pink. Next lipstick to try on is Sunday Matinee. This is an insanely saturated lipstick. I feel like this is just a smidge warmer than Velvet Petal. If you're looking at it here, here's Petal, here is Sunday Matinee. Obviously it has a little bit more pigment to it. It's very pigment rich. This is a demi matte formula that is super easy to wear. Very, very comfortable on the lips. And I wasn't sure, I didn't buy this shade initially when it came out. I was like, I don't think I'm gonna wear that pink. Actually, it's really pretty. The next one I'm gonna put on is Velvet Muse. This is one that some people think of more as a nude, but I like that it's kind of like a pink leaning nude. Here's Velvet Muse. It does have a little bit of a cooler tone to it and a little bit more of an earthiness in it overall. I really like that. It's super easy to wear and I find that with my skin tone, I can wear it with nearly anything. Gonna jump into a luxuriously lucent shade. This is a kind of a sheer, comfortable, balm-like lipstick that's very hydrating, um, that I find is my favorite kind of satin or cream formula lipstick. This one right here is called Rose Official. Here is Rose Official. This is what it looks like, obviously much sheerer, and it has a little bit more of what I think of, or what I would have thought of as a kid, as a pink lean to it on the lips, especially on my lips. It can read a little bit um, like a mauve pink, but it is a beautiful, beautiful shade. I feel like there are so many other mauve lipsticks in my collection that this one is just different. This is perfect for every day. This is perfect for, um, I want just a little bit, but not too much. And I find it's very, very versatile. This next shade is Velvet Rain. This has a definite decided pink lean to it, but I think this is one that might also end up in the red lipstick video as well. Here is Velvet Rain. I feel like it is really officially like a pink. I love the way this one feels. I forget how good these are. Like I've been reaching for a lot of other brands recently when it comes to lip products, but I've just been like 
called back to certain shades as the temperatures warm up. This is one I could definitely see myself wearing on the regular this summer, uh, even though it is a matte because it is such a beautiful, just enough, not too much shade. I love this. You're probably looking at this and going, that's not a pink. <laughs> All right, this is the Luxuriously Loosen in the shade Go Lightly. The reason I have it here is because Lisa released this in her Summer Pinks collection. I think it was 2019. So she thought of it as a pink. It is very much a mod 1960s pink. Let me put it on for you. Here it is. This is one that I feel like has not come out again. I think this was released initially in 2019 and I, I just haven't seen it be restocked. Am I wrong? Have you seen it? Do you have it? Have you picked it up since that original launch of those pink lipsticks in the summertime? Um, but I, I do have it swatched for you here. It is reading very peach, but I feel like on the lips, it does read more of that white based kind of warm pink that we saw a lot of in the 60s and early 70s. This next one is Rainbow Spill. It's an insanely saturated lipstick. It definitely is one of those that is a very bold shade. It's not very dark, but it is very bright, almost like a neon. You see what I'm saying? It kind of really just comes through. It's very, very punchy. So here is Rainbow Spill. It's a really pretty, very bright, very bold shade. Every single time I wear this look, I usually have very little uh, for eye makeup. I'll do like maybe some liner and mascara, kind of a little bit more of a blush and highlighted look and this on the lips. So it's kind of like clean skin with very little else because this is just such a loud and bold color. I love it. This formula, again, beautiful. It's that really high pigment, insanely saturated. And it's a color that I don't have anywhere else in my lipstick collection and I don't frequently see, but it is so much fun to wear. This is a luxuriously lucent. This one's called Wonder Wheel. Here's Wonder Wheel. It's definitely not as deep or pigmented, but it has a very similar feel as Rainbow Spill on the lips. I feel like this is one that's a little bit easier to wear because it's sheer, because it's balmy, because it doesn't have quite as high a pigment load. But if you love kind of like a shiny, fun, bright, punchy pink, you would like Wonder Wheel. Here's a shade I don't reach for nearly enough, and I kind of have decided that this is gonna be one of my summer lipsticks. This is Velvet Pompadour. Here's Velvet Pompadour. This is one of those lip colors that really feels, especially when it's blotted, like the shades that you would see in a 200 or 300 year old painting just a portrait, a beautiful portrait of a woman's lips. Here is Pompadour here. It is such a pretty shade. Let me just blend it out a little bit for you because like when I wear it like this, it does feel kind of like it belongs in um, like an old castle somewhere or in a museum, uh, like a painting of a, of a woman wearing clothes from several hundred years ago, just kind of like sitting there and you know she's wearing lip rouge and the color is very similar to this, but I do really like this color. Here is another Insanely Saturated. This is a beautiful, bright pink called Skyscraper Rose. Here is Skyscraper Rose. It is a much cooler, punchier lipstick. It is one of those shades, like Rainbow Spill, that when I put it on, people always ask me, what are you wearing? What shade is that? Who makes that lipstick? Where can I get it? And I have always loved really bright, bold shades, but I tend to prefer reds until it comes down to these really fun pinks that I don't have anywhere else in my lipstick collection. This is Velvet Bloom. It is such a pretty shade. Sometimes I feel like it leans very red. Sometimes I feel like it leans very pink, which is what I love so much about Lisa's shade selection, is that sometimes the lipsticks can be a little bit chameleon-like, and they can work with so many different makeup looks. Warm, cool. It's just really intriguing to me, but let me throw this on. Here is Velvet Bloom. I feel like this definitely leans more red, but it does have a lot of similarity to me to it, it does sometimes look like pompadour or like rain. I feel like it does feel fit in here well with the pinks, but it's very different than something that's very bright and cool leaning. Here's a luxuriously loosened. This one's called Love of My Life. 
I'm going to have to start swatching on the other hand because I'm definitely out of space. But this is such a beautiful, cool, leaning, easy to wear, goes with almost anything sort of shade. If you like cool pinks, I think you'd really like Love of My Life. I know it looks purple, but I didn't know where to put it. <laughs> so I threw it in with the pinks because this is one of those that I feel a lot of people will be curious how it stacks up against other shades. This right here is an insanely saturated shade. This one's called New Wave. Here is New Wave, and this is what it looks like on the lips. It is such an attention-grabbing color. <laughs> this is one of those, it's beautiful. It has kind of like that cooler orchid lean to it, but it doesn't end up being really purple. I normally don't wear a lot of other makeup when I'm wearing a shade like this. I want it all to be about the lips, so I'll do a very minimal eye look, you know, very little on the eye, and then it's mostly blush and highlight and really pretty skin. Can you believe I have a brand new one? <laughs> this is one I've never used. It's not a new shade. This shade has been out for a while, but I never thought I would wear a shade like this. And then I thought, you know what? I'm really curious to what this looks like compared to other pinks in this line. This right here is Velvet Carnival. Here is Velvet Carnival. It certainly is more of a pink as compared to New Wave. And I think here on the lips definitely has more of that really bright fuchsia pink, but a cool leaning fuchsia on the lips. If this is one of those shades that you love to wear, you'd probably like this one. This is one of my all time favorite lipsticks from Lisa Eldridge, a luxuriously loosened. This one's called Painterly. Here's Painterly. You're wondering why I have it in here with the pinks. This sometimes can read, this I think is the, the shade that is the most like a chameleon lipstick. Sometimes it reads a little bit pink. Sometimes it reads a little bit brown. Sometimes it almost looks like my natural lip color. It all depends on the amount that I put on or how much of it has kind of worn off over time. But this is one of those lipsticks that I feel like can go with almost anything. This is one that I would also deem a purse lipstick, uh, a lipstick that I keep on me because it is very versatile and goes with nearly anything. Also comfortable, one that I don't necessarily need a mirror to put on. Love painterly. Here is a shade that was kind of a special request from those of us who love Lisa's line. This shade is called Velvet Blush Lightly. She initially released Velvet Blush, and some of us were like, can we get one that's just, just not quite as intense, just a little bit lighter? And this is what we got. Here is Velvet Blush Lightly. This is what it looks like compared to some of these other ones. I like that it has this slightly cooler lean to it, but there is a lot of um, earthiness. There is a lot of brown and caramel like mixed into this, and it wears so beautifully with so many things. This is Velvet Blush. Here is Velvet Blush. It looks a little bit deeper, and this looks a little bit more muted here and blush lightly, but I feel like the look on the lips for me is definitely, it's vampier, it's darker. It's a beautiful shade, especially when it's lightly blotted on the lip, but I always wanna put these on for you at full pigment so you know what you're getting. Um, but so many of Lisa's lipsticks look absolutely stunning when you put them on just a little bit at a time and kind of build them to be just the right amount of pigment. But this is a beautiful lipstick. I like that it is cooler. It does have more of those eggplant tones to it. I think you can see that here in this swatch, just lovely. This is definitely lighter than the last two and I think it should have been farther <laughs> earlier in the lineup, but we'll throw it on. Here's Velvet Beauty. Here's Velvet Beauty. It's such an easy to wear shade, but I find that compared to a lot of the rest of them, it can definitely pull a little bit cooler. Some of these have more warmth in them, um, but it's such a pretty, if you like a cool leaning mauve, this is the shade for you. We're kind of getting out of pink territory and into berry territory, but I thought I would group them all together so you could see them and how they compare. This right here is Velvet Myth. I feel like it does have a little bit more pink than the last two that I have for you, but this is one that de very definitely is a berry lip. Here is Velvet Myth. This is what it looks like compared to everything else. Definitely vampier, definitely more on the berry side. This is a beautiful, I think it's a, a great way of saying this is more of like um, 
like not quite a blackberry, but kind of like a cassis shade. This is absolutely stunning, especially when it's winter time and I want a dark and vampy lip, but I don't want it to be too dark. This is what I reach for. This is a luxuriously lucent shade. This is called Night Thoughts. There have been so many lipsticks in my collection that kind of have this feel, but I feel like this is the best one where it is kind of like a deep plummy tone, but there is some brown to it. There is some earthiness to it. It's not too purple leaning. It is such a beautiful, easy to wear shade. This is gorgeous on so many people. Here it is right here. Um, it is definitely a darker shade. You know, we're getting definitely darker here. Um, it's definitely not a pink, but it's interesting to see them compared to others in the lineup. This is the deepest shade from Lisa I, that I have. This is Velvet Midnight. This is definitely a deep, dark, vampy, a uh, plum shade, uh, a deep berry shade. It's almost on me a little too much. This is one that I never wear on its own unless I just barely tap it on. This usually is an accompaniment to other shades. I'm gonna put it on full force for you though. Here is Velvet Midnight. It's a very pigmented shade. This feels kind of like the sheer version of that. But with this black and white striped top and my dark hair, it's very much giving Wednesday Adams, isn't it? It's very dark. It's very, um, very much a statement lip. Now I love shades like this and I love that this range goes so dark so that people who do want that deep dark color can get it. But let me blot this down, throw something else on and show you how I normally wear it. I usually blot it down or I'll apply it very gently with a lip brush and then put something that's a little brighter, a little bit more right over the top. This time I put Velvet Carnival because it's brand new and I was like, I wonder what she looks like over Velvet Midnight. Beautiful, beautiful. These are the sort of lipsticks that I feel like you can mix and match together if you like to cocktail and create shades. But the one thing that is so great, and I know I said it before, I'm gonna say it again, it's that these shades are so nuanced. I don't feel like I can walk into the drugstore and find these. I don't feel like there are a lot of brands that have these exact shades. Sometimes they'll have like a bright pink, but it's a little too Barbie or a little too bubblegum. Sometimes they'll have that deep dark plum shade, but it ends up being too close to black or having a really maybe unfortunate brown lean to it where it's not quite as punchy. There is something about these shades that is just extraordinary. They're very fun, they're very different. I feel like there's a shade for everyone here and that's what I like the most about these. Definitely my favorite brand when it comes to lipstick. I have almost all of the bullet lipsticks. I was feeling a little too pale so I just tapped my fingers on my lips and I just decided to share the shade around a little bit. I feel like this is a great way to make sure that my look kind of feels a little bit more cohesive. Um, I had a cool leaning blush on, but it, it just wasn't quite hitting. Um, but I do that with a lot of my Lisa Eldridge lipsticks. I really, really love the formulas that Lisa creates and the shades. I feel like nobody does a beautiful nuanced color like Lisa, because if you're looking at these, there's a wide range. You know, we have some that are very kind of peachy or, or, or um, like a really bright fuchsia pink, some that lean almost a little bit purple, and then ones that get really dark. And I know these are not officially a pink, but I think it's interesting to see what they look like next to other shades in the line. This is definitely the sort of brand that every time there's a new bullet lipstick, I set an alarm, I want to get it, I want to try it. I can't wait to see what else Lisa comes up with, and I'm hoping that, that we're getting more lipsticks this year. Thank you so much for watching. Here's where I wanna know, do you have a favorite shade of pink lipstick? What is it? Doesn't have to be from Lisa Eldridge, tell me your favorite pink. But also, if you have a favorite shade of Lisa's lipstick, what is it? And it doesn't necessarily have to be one of the ones that I have here, but let me know. I'm gonna link my Lisa Eldridge playlist in the description box below for you because I have every single makeup item that Lisa has created, I have tried and reviewed. And if you're curious, you're trying to shop the brand or, or decide what's gonna work best for you, that might be a helpful resource. Thank you so, so much for watching today. Have an incredible day and I will see you again soon.